I welcome you back to Analytics Simplified and in this video we will be talking about the notion of corpus in context to natural and sweet processing systems. So when we talk about the origin of this particular word, this word has got its origin in Latin and it basically means body in terms of a group or collection. So a corpus may be defined as a collection of authentic text or audio organized into data sets. And when we say it is authentic, it basically means that whatever text has been written or whatever audio samples have been gathered, they are coming from the native of the language or dialect. Now, as far as sources are concerned, we can have different sources out of which we can build corpus. For example, when it comes to textual information, we have newspapers, books, recipes, then of course the text content which is available on the social media. So that those contents can be used in order to build corpuses and then these corpuses may be used to train AI based systems. Similarly, when it comes to audio systems, we can have different sources of audio samples. For example, we can get the audio samples from the radio broadcast, we can get it from the television shows, cinema, movies, etc. The idea is that we be able to capture good amount of data and then that particular data may be used for training the machine learning based systems. So with this we will now be talking about the desirable properties of a corpus. So first of all, it should have a large size so that the classifier has got enough data to train itself on. In addition, the quality of the corpus should be high. What does it mean? It basically means that whatever text or whatever audio samples are there, they be very much accurate and it is possible only in cases when these corpus is coming from the natives themselves including the ground truth means the data samples, the text samples and also the ground truth is coming from the natives themselves. In that cases, chances are high that the quality and the quality of the data and the ground truth will be of very high quality. Now it should also be clean. It clean basically means that there could be some noticeable errors or redundancies in the data set. There could be some words which are getting repeated or there could be some audio clip which is getting repeated again and again in the same sample. So those kind of redundancies and noticeable errors may be removed and then once those errors are removed, we say that the corpus is now properly clean. In addition to these three properties, the corpus must also be balanced. What does it mean? It basically means that the corpus must satisfy or must represent the phenomena the AI system is supposed to capture. So these are the basic desirable properties that any corpus should have for it to be useful for any AI based systems. I hope that you have learned something new. Feel free to share this with your friends. That's all for today.